There's a story that the great Hakim Samarkand, Samarkandi mentioned in his book. He says there was a man, an old man, who wanted to go to prayer. And he would go to the Fajr prayer before anyone. He would be the first person in the masjid. He would do some prayers, and then he would wait. He would do uh, the Sunnah prayer. He would wait, read some Quran, wait for the Imam, and then Fajr. Always he would be there an hour before Fajr. And then he was getting old, and he was losing his eyesight. And one day he put on, every day he would put on his white coat, put on perfume, fix himself, and then go to the Masjid of Fajr. So he goes, it's dark in the streets of Baghdad, and there's a pothole he falls into it, and his clothes become full of mud. And he says, I can't go to the house of Allah with mud on my clothes. So he goes back to the house. He washes his coat, he puts on perfume again, makes wudu, comes back to the Masjid. Comes back, same spot, falls into the pothole again. His clothes gets dirty. He's like, Subhan, I can't go to the house of God like this. It's bad Adam. Goes back home, washes his clothes, cleans it up, puts on perfume, comes back, and again. He comes and he's about to fall in the same place because he, I can't see it. There's no street lights in that time. And it wasn't a full moon. About to fall into this place full of mud and water, a young man grabs his hand and goes, Sheikh, you fell twice into this. Don't go this way, come this way. He crosses him over, he goes, here, go to the masjid. So he goes to the masjid and the man just goes straight. He says, and then when he goes to the masjid, the iqam is already called. And when the iqam is called, we know that the prayer is mandatory for you. So if you're in a masjid or if you're in a gathering and they call the iqama, you must stand in the prayer. You can't leave. So he said, the iqam is called, son, come and pray. He said, I don't pray, I'm shaitan. He said, you're shaitan, you don't pray, but you, you save me from falling and you're guiding me to the masjid. He said, yeah, let me tell you why. The first time you fell, Allah looked at your state, you went back, you cleaned yourself, and He said, I forgive one third of his sins for that action. The second time you fell, Allah said, I forgive two thirds of his sin for his adab and for his love. You went home, you came back. If you were to fall the third time, you would be clean and enter paradise. And how could I allow that? That is shaitan. That is shaitan. So you have to know that this is intelligent and he would do anything to prevent us from entering paradise. So take him like the Quran says as an enemy because he's our enemy.